I'm going to try and show you how to create uh, an interactive map that will play on any website uh, using Flash in Zara Extreme Pro. The, the main steps I'm going to go over are drawing a map or a diagram um, and then perfecting it the way you want to look visually and, and stylistically. Then the technique, well, the the methods for adding rollovers, and then finally adding links and overlays. So let's start with the first part. Good place to start. What I've done here is I've created a new animation in Zara Extreme Pro five point one. And you can see we have one frame and what I'm going to do is just use my drawing tool and draw any old map country shape just just a random country shape I don't know what it probably looks like Denmark or something like that so now you can see that Zara has automatically smoothed it for me I don't want that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bump down the smoothing so we get a few more of the bumps back in there and you can see the number of dots you get this you'll choose this slider depending on how much complexity you want in the map so you remember with the flash files with vector based flash files you can zoom in as much as you like so you might want to increase that have more points or decrease it and have fewer points that's obviously, and obviously if you're dealing with diagrams you won't have that question because uh, diagrams will be a lot simpler but with maps you need to decide how much detail you want in there and obviously I've just drawn this randomly but if you're tracing this from a bitmap um, you obviously have more you might have more detail in there than you need so I've done, I've created my first country there and just as a work as a working thing I'm going to select that and change its color to a browsing color and I actually want to have outlines, but for the moment I'm going to turn it off. Make just to make things. There's our first country. Now I'm going to draw us a couple more countries quickly, um, and well, I'll show you my my method for drawing adjoining countries. Just going to squiggle that line there. Now you can see while I'm drawing here that the um, the detail slider is stuck at 5%, so any subsequent line that I'm drawing adopts that 5%, so that's very handy. So I've got uh, my shape, my new country here. You can see I've not bothered drawing this border. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to colour that in, take off the line, clear line colour, and then I'm going to go back to Select Tool select that country and could, I'm going to clone it edit clone shape that goes on top and I'm going to select both those countries so I'm selecting plus minus select both and then subtract then I'm, I'm subtracting the cloned from the new country I've just drawn so now we have two separate countries with the correct border split them back together again and so we'll draw a third country and what, what I'll do here, go back to the drawing tool. And the third country starts here. And wiggles around a bit and goes down there. It's a long, thin country and then goes round back into this country, which is complicates things slightly, but I'll show you how to go with that. Okay, so we've got a nice, long, thin country there, but it obviously... Um, I've drawn it overlapping these two countries. So what we need to do now is we'll give that color just so you can see and take off the line color as well. We'll put that back on later. Um, back to the select tool. I'm going to select these both these countries now. Shift key. So I've selected both those. I'm going to clone them. Clone shapes control K and then I'm going to add them together. So combine shapes, add shapes. 
And the reason for this is because uh, Zara can only subtract one shape at a time. So I've got two clone countries. You can see there's some extra points in the middle there. Okay, so go back to the select tool. I've got my cloned double thing there. I select the new country I've just drawn and then subtract. Arrange, combine, subtract shapes or control two. So now I have three countries, all the borders nicely butted up. You can see that one's quite complex. And what I'll do now is just control A, add some line lines on there. Well, let's uh, make them all the same color and add some borders. Dark, dark blue. Okay, so we've got our countries now. You might want to add a, I don't know, a C or fill the page with countries, but for the moment I'm just going to work with three countries and, and leave out the background C or, or any text or anything. You would obviously add, you could add many effects onto these contours and shadows and, and so on and so forth, but I'm just going to leave it simple. So we have country one. I'm going to bring up the website properties. And you can see here, for this thing, we're going to have a mouse over. And it's going to jump to a frame. Oh, unfortunately, we can't set up this until we've actually created the frame it's going to jump to. And what we'll do, this is where some design comes, some pre-thinking comes in. So you can see here we've got three, let's just turn that off, three countries three areas of the map we want to have po uh, rollovers on. So we need to think about how many rollers we're going to have. So in this case we want three, so I'm going to I'm going to bring up the properties for that I call this no rollovers or just no over. And then I'm going to put stop at the end. That tells Zara that when entering this frame, play it and then just stop. So I'm going to apply that, just create new frames for each rollover. I'm going to call this one country one over and then tell that stop. Apply that. Don't bother clicking OK here because that will get rid of the dialogue. You can just click through the frames C2 over. We want that to, all, all of these are going to stop. And country three over. Obviously, you can choose your naming conventions here, it doesn't really matter. Um, but obviously, the stop has to have a semicolon before it, and the word stop just like that in order for. Uh, Zara to recognize it and put it into the Swift file. The shockwave flash or small web file, depending on what you want to call it. Okay, so we have three overlays now. It's important, if we go back to the note over, it's important to create these frames first, then go back and add. Let's go do it this way so you can see what I'm doing. Add your mouse overs. And I'll, I'll tell you the reason why. So this one's going to jump to country one over. I don't know if we can move that just over here while we... And this one is going to jump to country two. And this one is going to jump to country three. Okay. Oh, I think I just forgot to apply that second one. Country two, apply. And let's just check the first one. This is quite an annoying thing for me that you have to apply these every time. I prefer if you just were able to click on a, a shape and then set it. So what we've done now is we've drawn the map and we've created frames for our rollovers and we've set the links up to do the rollovers but we haven't actually created the rollovers yet. So what we have to do is select everything. This will, this will include uh, the whole design, so any labels, any background.